Hey everyone, welcome back to Spyro Reignited. This is part eight, and we're going to be tackling, tackling. We're going to be taking care of the Dreamweavers world today, doing some of the levels in this home world. First up, we have Dark Passage, as you can see, and I think, I think this world will be split into two episodes. It'll be eight and nine, and then the final world will be part ten, and I'll do that all in one regardless of how long it takes. So that'll be cool. And here we are. Now this world, uh, it, it did scare me a little, just a little, like it, not as much as some of the other ones, but those things were what scared me when I was little. So this, this little dude has a lamp and he makes the enemies big when the light's off and he makes them small when the light's on. But if you flame him like this, then it just keeps the light on for a while. Instead of you having to wait for him to blow the torch, it just stays on. Oh, and I did not realize that those turtles spit fire. Oh, when they're small, they don't. They're cute when they're small. Maybe I'll get a better look at one next time we come across them. here can be quite frightening, but you should watch the fools. I'd rather flame the fools. Now you're thinking. <laughs> and that's exactly what you're supposed to do. Those guys are ugly. They were always ugly, even in the original. They're just... So I guess that means that they they look good because they're consistent. <laughs> so... There's that. I didn't actually know that you could defeat those guys when they were big, but I guess that makes sense. Because they don't have armor like the turtles do, so... I don't see why you couldn't defeat them. But there's the turtle when it's little. He still spits fire. That's funny. Alright. Is there anything on top of these lamps? No, okay, so it's so far only that one level that has gems on top of the lamp poles. Thank you for releasing me. All right, and I think that's a counter of four for our thank you for releasing me. It could be five, but I think it's four. It's, it's either four or five, I'm not sure. The point is, it's, a, a good chunk of them. In the original it was 15, but now, so far we're only at 4 or 5, so that's not so bad I guess. Get out of here. Okay, so we're gonna need either a supercharge or some kind of key to open this. I think we need a key because there's a lock on the side right there. There's a lock on both sides. We'll see how it goes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get shrunk. <laughs> Alright, there's a little devil dog. I think that's what they are. They're, de they're devil dogs. Alright, and this, obviously, we're not gonna leave the level yet, but this is where the ending is. You know, I think you just might be the dragon to defeat Nasty Nork. That's me, alright. <laughs> I love his little sheep slippers. <laughs> Okay, now where do we go from here? Oh, we can go down there. Cool. And we could either go back up or we can stay down at the bottom there. Yeah, okay, I think we need to go back down and go this way for the secrets. Hey, you get out of here. <laughs> Alright. There's more turtles. Ooh, fireworks. Not really the most colorful explosion for fireworks, but at least they explode. Whoa! Oh, come on. That's a little silly. Just because I was a little bit too high when I started gliding, 
it just made me fall. So I guess you have to be more, more, uh, more precise with your gliding in the later worlds. Okay, so it was down this way. All right, let's try that again. Hopefully we won't have any issues this time. Oof. Get out of here. Alright. So I'll just glide from lower. <laughs> okay. And now, there's a lot of situations where if you line yourself up with the enemies, then you can just take them all out like that, which is nice. That's nice. Lights out on you guys. Or actually, lights on. Yeah, okay, it's lights on, not lights out. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, we got some more doggies. Okay, there's fireworks and stuff. And there's turtles. Not really a lot to say about this level. I mean, it's cool. It's like, it's like kind of like a nightmare level. Where it's like, oh man, the lights are off, and now everything's scary. So that's kind of cool. Thanks, Spyro. I'd love to help you catch Nasty, but I'd really hate to be trapped in Crystal again. Don't worry. The only one that's going to be trapped is him. Confidence. I like it. Oh, jeez. Okay. Now, you may notice that we have... 65 dragons rescued and that means that we're getting close to the end of the game because there's 80 total So that's how you know that we're going to be Only a couple more episodes. I predict three at most Including this one like this one and then two more that's my prediction Let's see what this guy has to say Thank you for releasing me. All right, I like his staff, but he was another one of those dragons where they don't really say anything. So I guess I can see how the the count was at 15 in the original because so far two dragons in just this one level said it. So maybe they just start saying that a lot in this world. Oof! I forgot they had armor. Oh man. Okay, I gotta be careful. Is there any butterflies or anything? No? Okay. Cool, alright. So we're safe for the moment. Hopefully there's some mushrooms that have those butterflies in them up here. If not, at least... Ah, oh, okay, it was a firework to open the chest, not a key. <laughs> That's cool. And these are probably the last of the gems. So we might be able to just leave after cl collecting these and get sparks back in the home world. Okay, well there's mushrooms over there, so we'll go over there to get him back. Because why not? Might as well since we're here. Nice. Okay, now I'll just head back to the exit, and then we'll take it from there. Alright, now let's head to the next one. I'm not sure, I, I'm not too familiar with all the levels and their names in this world because I did this one, I'm, I'm, I did this one the least when I was little, just because I usually didn't get this far, I would play like the first three worlds and then, and then that's it, but this one's Lofty Castle, and I remember this one being a little bit tough because of all the supercharge, because there's supercharging in this level as well. But it's not nearly as bad as treetops. Like, treetops is easily the worst level in that sense. And I think this level has, like, floating haunted suits of armor, so that's something to look forward to. They're pretty cool.
All right, this isn't the level that I was thinking of. This is the level that has the norks with the balloons. So I think, I don't actually know which level has the, the haunted armor, but this one's, this one's nice too, and I don't think this is the supercharged one. I think this, I mean, it might be, I don't really remember. A lot of these uh, magic crafters worlds, oh, they all blend together for me. Because, like I said before, I've, I've played them the least. Alright. But I like the floating islands and everything. It looks cool. It's a fun level. And there's fairies in there. We gotta free them. And I think the gimmick of this level is when you free the fairies, they activate the whirlwinds for you to travel to the next parts of the level. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I think I'm remembering it more now. There you go. And don't get too close to those guys. I learned that last time. Oh, he's over there. So we gotta jump up here and glide over. I see. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Now the whirlwind should be active. There you go. Look at that. Fairies are always on your side, Spyro. Huh. I mean, he had a doll, which was cool, but it was kind of a, an interesting looking doll. But anyway, this, I, I'm remembering this level now. This is not the, I don't think this is the supercharged one. This is so cool looking. This is such a good game. And honestly, as much as I, uh, gush over this first game the second and third are just way better so it's like they just took this game and just made it better in like every way in the sequels the second game started introducing cutscenes and stuff and the third game has other playable characters so it's just really good what they decided to do it all works out really well I like it a lot but we'll get to those in in the future. We'll just put it like that. <laughs> okay, now I think that's the correct path and this is the exploring side path, so we'll go this way. Okay, can't get him yet. Thank you for releasing me. Yeah, towards the end of the game, a lot of them are starting to say just thank you for releasing me. So I guess that's where the high <laughs> count comes from. Uh, but anyway, there's a lot of unique names for the dragons in this world. I guess fitting because it's like they're wizards or whatever. So they gotta have. Oh, actually, no. Magic crafters had wizards. This is dream weavers, so I guess they're also wizards. I don't know, but they have uh, they have they have cool designs and unique names, so it's it's cool. Oh, and we just made that awesome. When he does, when Spyro does that little animation when he's landing, like that that whoosh thing, that's that means that you like just made the jump. So, that's a good indication that you got lucky. <laughs> and there's... Okay, I remember that part. There's a gliding part. But obviously, we want to get everything, so we got to grab this stuff first. And I'm going to just make sure there's not anything down at the bottom before. Okay, there is, so we'll just obviously grab this stuff real quick. Okay, now we'll take the whirlwind up. 
Oh, it's this one. Cool. Alright. Nice, we got them all. And now, I think they open this whirlwind. Yeah, so we can go even higher. Supercharge will get you to new places here in Lofty Castle, too. See where it takes you. Okay, so there is Supercharge in this level, which I clearly had forgotten about, so... Uh, let me just look and see where this leads so that I don't mess it up. Okay, so we go there, and then there's a loop. And then I can't really see where it goes from here. But look, there's a portal in that window. That's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm going to just go for it because you can't really see where it goes from here. Okay, well, clearly that didn't work out. We didn't jump high enough from there. So I'll cut back to the, the ramp. All right, let's try again. Yeah, that was a much better jump. I don't really know where we're going. I guess there was something I was supposed to break. I'm not really sure. Let's see. Well, I have the key for this, so it obviously wasn't this. Hmm. I'll explore more of the level and then see where I needed to go with that. Oh wait, actually, there's a new area over here, which I didn't see yet. I don't know how I missed this, but there's some gems and stuff over here. So we'll grab those while we're here. Cool. There's a whole area. Yeah, I, I don't know how I missed this. Yeah, clearly I'm not very well versed in the Dreamweaver's world. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get these chicken lizard things. I don't, I don't know what they're called, but they look like chicken lizards. That's how I'd describe them. Okay, let's not get smacked by that guy this time. And there's the last fairy. Nice. And there's the exit. Like, yeah, wait. Maybe I'm thinking of the previous level where we already found the exit. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I think I'm just confusing myself here. Okay, this is the exit, but we obviously don't want to leave yet because... <clears throat> Excuse me. Because again, we don't have everything. So, I need to get back to the supercharge ramp, which I think is this way so I'm gonna go this way okay one more time okay he didn't stop so I guess I gotta do it again I'm gonna try to like crash into the wall this time when I get there. Or maybe I'll just glide from the edge of this jump. Yeah, that's much easier. Okay. Hopefully this has 30. Okay, yeah, thank goodness. All right, now we're done with this level and I need to find, okay. 
I don't need to find the exit, I need to not fall. <laughs> Okay, I think I might be able to get to the exit from this ramp. I'm not really sure. Okay, clearly not, so I'll just cut to the exit. Okay, I'm a little bit embarrassed to admit how many times I died just trying to get back to the exit. But if you saw the life counter, then you can do your math. Because I that I should not have died that many times just trying to get to the exit. That's a little bit annoying. But hey, we're making good progress. We have over 9,000 gems. And then I think in this episode, I will do the flight level. And that's probably all we have time for. So that would leave two more levels after this and then the boss fight I believe for this world and I'm not sure how many times I've called this world magic crafters when it's clearly not so bear with me <laughs> I'm suffering from poor memory at the at this point in time so we'll go tackle Icy Flight real quick, and then we'll end the episode. Oop. Where's the other dude? Alright, here's Icy Flight. I'm gonna assume that we're doing these lamps first and not the train first. That's my assumption. Because we were pretty much facing the lamps when we started and not the trains. Now there's no lamps, so I guess I'll do the trains. <laughs> and since I'm in here, oh, I missed the train. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Okay. Guess we're starting over now. <laughs> okay. So there's a few lamps just kind of scattered about in like a looping fashion here, mixed in with some chests. So I guess we're supposed to like kind of do them both. Okay. I'm in focus mode, that's why I'm not talking much, because this is a little bit more difficult than I remember it being. Okay, so now there's just one lamp left and one chest left. I don't know where either of those are. Hopefully they're not far from each other. get this train as well while we're here. Get these floating dudes. Oh my gosh. I missed them both. Okay. There's three... Okay, I'm just gonna start over.
Okay, there's just this one chest, and then another lamp somewhere that I'm missing, which I don't see. So hopefully I'll just come across it when I'm looking for this other stuff. Oh no, I have all the lamps. It shows at the bottom. Okay, so I'll get the trains and the copter guys. Probably won't be able to do it, considering the low time, but we'll just give it a try. Okay, this is the last of them, so hopefully I can just grab these last two guys before the time runs out. Yep, and we did it. Awesome. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. I was just getting flustered at the beginning. Oh, nope. I, I have a habit of hitting retry after completing those levels. I'm not sure. I think because retry is like the default option or something. So I'm just like hitting A afterwards and it just happens to be on restart. But anyway, that'll wrap things up for this episode. We've got a nice 9,500 gems. I'll go stand in front of the next portal so that we can end things off nicely. Um, I think I'm, I'm fairly confident that there's not very many episodes left of Spiral 1, but that's good because that means we can start Spiral 2 and 3, which are the better Spiral games. Again, nothing wrong with this one. Great game. You should play it. Just not as good as the other three the other two sorry I, I get but I guess that means the other two are better and not necessarily that this one's worse you know so there's that level over there which I think is the only level on that little island area and then that just leaves the boss obviously so okay yeah two levels left here and then we can do separately all right so this is Haunted Towers, I guess I'll stand in here, and that's going to be the next level that we're tackling in part 9. Thank you guys so much for watching, like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video.